the the conflicting emotions um, that uh, in the years I've been doing this to be a part of a team that has mental toughness, uh, the resiliency, the courage that this team has. I don't know if I've ever been a part of it before. Um, and, and that's why my heart breaks because we, we just can't, we just can't find the play um, to get them the victory that in my mind they deserve. Uh, I'm just, I, the pride I feel of being a part of this with these guys, the way they, the way they fight, I know the reward is coming. It is. It's just. It's just the way that it works. Uh, it's a play, and, and as coaches, we got to do it better. We got to find that play. Because um, in two weeks, it's been. It's been about the same story. We certainly. Uh, there are mistakes that we have to fix. Mistakes as coaches that, that, that we're accountable to make sure that are fixed. Um, but the, the. I mean, Tyler Van Dyke. What a performance! Unbelievable. First road um, start for a young guy like that. Uh, everything they were throwing at him. So courageous. I mean, I, I could go on and on. Just guys that just, just uh, so impressed with. Um, there's a good team in that locker room. There's a really good team in that locker room. We don't have a good record. And, and, and we are what our record says we are. I understand that. Um, but there's a good team in there. And uh, we stay the course. It's, it's going to show. Questions? Good morning. Take on yesterday's 45-42 loss up in Chapel Hill against North Carolina. It's as follows. The missed tackles are still an issue. Uh, felt we had to do a better job there. It's like we're the worst tackling team in the country. And it showed that again. It reared his ugly head again off a of bye week. Um don't know where we go from here. Manny had to win this game yesterday, and he didn't. I like the fact that we didn't quit. I like the fact that we kept fighting. We could have gotten blown out, but we didn't. It was right there for the taking on the final drive, again, like the Virginia game. But like the Virginia game, we did not cash in. And that's the one... I mean, you think to yourself, a play here, a play there, we're forward too. But Manny said it, and Bill Parcell said this best. You are what your record says you are. And our record right now is 2-4. and four. That, my friends, is not going to cut the mustard. Period. It's a results-oriented business, and at the end of the day, we did not, ex we did not get the job done. And that's the reality. So that's just the, that's reality. We didn't get it done today. We didn't get it done yesterday. I'm sorry. We did not get it done yesterday. Uh, you talk about the numbers and the number. They're just a simple fact. Is we again we did not get it done when it mattered. TVD. 264, three picks. We were minus two in the turnover margin. And you're not going to win that way. I don't care who you're playing. When, you, when you're minus two in turnover margin, you're just not going to win. Stinks that Cam gets hurt, injured his knee. Um, first play out, of, first play of the second half. Rooster had, Rooster had a nice game, 92 yards. Uh, he's got to do a better job protecting the football, which I felt he did. Uh, but again, another slow start would ultimately do us in. That's the way it is, folks. We, we had 421 overall today, yesterday, to 382. And that, fr that my friends, will not cut the mustard. Period. That will not cut the, cut the mustard. I mean, the defense, we got the chain. Now we got a chain six uh, yesterday. And you felt it was right there. We felt it was there. It was there for the taking. 
Uh, but again, when you make mental mistakes, when you turn the ball over three times like we did those three picks, like we did yesterday, yeah, yeah, you're just not going to win. You're just not going to win. I look at the second half numbers. Second half, we outscored them 25-14, but you just can't lose to Carolina third straight year like we did yesterday. We had 30 first downs to 23, 421, 382. But, you know, you just you just can't make mistakes. You just can't make mistakes. But I look at the second half. I look at the second... In the second half, I saw a stat in the second half. In the second half, I mean, I mean, you know, we come out in the sec in the second half, seventy. In the you know, in the second half, look at the number. We, we I think at one point, we outgained North Carolina. I think, was, I think it's something like 340 to 130 or something like that. In fact, when you look at, when I give the report card in a moment, we had, uh, we had, I mean, ye, uh, it just won't get it done. It won't get it done like, you can't have slow starts again like we did and expect to win. That, my friends, will not cut the mustard. That will not cut it. Period. It just will not cut it. You know, the, the heartbreaker is in the second half, we outgained them 350. Three fifty to sorry for the delay, guys. I mean, you, you get you got to do got to do a better job. We got to do a better job right now. I'm be honest. I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words, to be brutally honest. To be brutally honest, I'm at a loss for words. I mean, after that touchdown, we outgained him three. We got in the second half, 350 to 134. But yet it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Because of the slow start, tackling was bad. I mean, poor angles, fun, not fundamentally sound again. Time to give the report card. I'm going to give the offense. I'm going to give the offense a C. Poor first half, strong second half, but not being able to finish on that final drive. Hurt, and not to mention Tyler Van Dyke's three picks. Seriously, that last one, that that was the killer lay. That was one of those fluke plays. You know, it was a tip ball. You know, that's got to be knocked down in that situation. Defense, I'm going to give, I'm going to give a C minus. I mean, again, poor first half, but the tackling's an issue. Missed tackles are a problem. That's that's something that that's got to get fixed, man. You're manning the post game presser say that. Uh, but we got better in the second half. Uh, but again, you can't allow big plays and big spots. In fact, on the th- we in the three of the last four of the la- of Carolina's final four drives before the last drive was three and outs. And was th- out of the four three and out. But the Howl, the giving up the Howl touchdown. Really turned out to be the difference there. Special teams. I felt we did okay here. I felt we did okay in the special teams category today. 
I mean, Lou did a good job. No touchbacks. Um, um, I mean, Jacoby on the punt returns did, did okay. Andres went. Andres was clean today on the field goals and, and the extra points. Lou, Lou did a good for the most part. They did a good job, but um, no, I mean that's got to get better. It's got we got to get better in all three phases. Um, where do we go from here? Manny, as you could see, if you saw the pitch on Kane Sport, he looked defeated. He looked defeated as he was in the bowels of Keenan Stadium in Chapel Hill. It's on. I I I I I wanted him to succeed here, but now we're all in two in the conference, and I think it's time for Manny to go. I mean, it's time. It's time. I wanted him to succeed. It just didn't work out here. So, hopefully he come, he bounce back against NC State next week. And I'll have a podcast on that, hopefully, probably on Friday. So, hey, it's a tough one yesterday. Just, just got to keep fighting. Like Manny said, we're going to break through. We're going to break through. But, win or lose... Go Canes.